Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best and quickest way to get the Sigma Launcher Gold in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War to help you out in your Dark Matter grind. It is a very tedious weapon to do, quite annoying at times, but not as hard as you would think. And in this video, I'm going to make it as easy as possible to literally get this gun goal in a day, minimal time, you know, quick as possible, basically. That's my aim. Starting off with the first camo, you need to go ahead and get 50 eliminations. I would recommend playing hardcore. If you if you hate hardcore, then you're just going to have to grin and bear it. And a lot of these weapons for Dark Matter, you're going to have to play hardcore at certain points it just makes some of these guns way easier there's a lot of awful guns in this game and this is unfortunately one of them so playing hardcore helps you get these 50 eliminations super duper quick the only issue is if people are running flat jacket and i've run into lobbies whilst going for either the china lake the sigma or the rpg where literally the full enemy team is running flak if, if the full enemy team is running flat jacket back out and get for another lobby because Flight Jacket literally makes you invincible to all of the launchers. I mean, if you could hit three bullets with the Sigma on one guy using Flak, it won't even kill him. So there's literally no point playing against that. It's super annoying at times, but it's something that you're going to probably run into. So make sure you do back out of the lobby. And you are going to take a very big hit to your KD. It's something to be expected. Obviously, you're not really going to go positive with this weapon. But on the plus side, the skill-based matchmaking will kick in. So when you go ahead to using your red guns, again, you'll have some noobs to kill. So it makes it a little bit fun on that front. Next challenge is going to be destroy 50 equipment, score streaks or vehicles in multiplayer. Very, very easy. Playing Nuketown 24-7 is a very easy way to do this. Make sure you have Engineer on your class. Uh, there's going to be loads of UAVs, field mics, all that stuff around the map. And using Engineer, you'll be able to see them very, very easily. And you'll be able to tick this one off very, very quickly. It does lock on as well, so it makes it a little bit easier. Next challenge is going to be two kills without dying 20 times. So two kill streaks essentially, uh, very easy to do again, you might want to camp the windows or you'll just pick them up whilst you're playing anyway, that's what I did. Uh, very easy again to do, it also comes hand in hand with the double kills which is a challenge you will come across later on depending on how you rank up the weapon. Uh, next up we're going to have destroy 50 ground based score streaks of vehicles. Uh, it can be very tedious, you can just play pubs and do sentry guns but that is going to be the longest way possible. Uh, the best way to do it is play fire, t uh, fire team dirty bomb with engineer and just float around in the air until you see somebody get on a bike a tank you'll see off the xds the sentry guns there's so many more uh, things to shoot down which are based on the ground which makes it a lot easier by playing fire term fire team dirty bomb next up you have to destroy 50 aerial score streaks of vehicles in multiplayer again hopping to a just regular pubs there's going to be so many uavs attack helicopters all that stuff you can take this one off very very easy the the most challenging one is definitely the ground vehicles which is still again not too difficult though so don't worry about that Next up we have destroy 3 score streaks for enemy vehicles in a single game 10 times. You'll be able to tick this off in Fireteam Dirty Bomb very easy whilst going for your ground uh, vehicles. Uh, if not, playing normal pubs is usually around 3 UAVs in a single game if not more. So you can tick that one off very easy and you've only got to do it 10 times. Probably the hardest challenge is going to be kill 2 or more enemies rapidly 25 times in multiplayer. You can just chance it and hope you get one, uh, two kills in one bullet, but for me, it rarely happened. So if you, if it, if it comes to the point where you're like me, this gun is very slow to ADS, very, very slow to reload, unlike the RPG, which is the opposite, surprisingly. Uh, it is going to be a very tedious thing to do. Um, you have to do it 25 times. You basically want to play hardcore Nuketown 24-7. That is the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, if there's no Nuketown 24-7, it's going to be a lot harder, but definitely doable, just because the reload speed is so slow. Uh, and the ADS speed is so slow and you've got to be playing hardcore you'll find yourself dying a lot of the time especially whilst playing aggressive with this weapon which makes it very 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 tedious but apart from that that's basically it so I hope this does help you guys out basically the only ones you might really struggle on would probably be the 50 ground uh, score streaks or vehicles uh, I'm wondering on what's the best way to get them the quickest way as that would probably be the slowest challenge um, so yeah, it's just Fire Team Day Bomb basically it makes it 10 times easier. Uh, for the launches, pretty much they're all sort of the same challenges and it's the same sort of technique. Definitely uh, not a fun weapon to do, more so one of the, you know, grueling weapons that takes ages to do and uh, yeah, not fun at all. But hopefully this, doesn't, this video helps you guys out and makes it not take as long at all. Uh, so yeah, let me know how you get on down in the comments below and if there's any other tips, any easy ways to do it to what I've recommended, then make sure you let me know down in the comments below as well. But apart from that guys, I hope this video did help you guys out. Make sure you are smashing that subscribe button if you guys are new around here for daily Call of Duty videos, tips, tricks, gameplays, all that good stuff. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. 
Peace.